I'm the owner of Kamage Fiber Arts. I also have the Kamage School of Fiber Arts where I have classes on how to card gradients, how to card confetti cake bats. I have a wool scouring certification course and I also have a carding workshop for beginners all the way to advanced and also showing you the triple picker and what it can do because it can do quite a bit. So let me get this set up and let me show you how it works. So this is the end where the fiber comes out of the picker. And you can see over here it has these L brackets and this is a little block to keep this um, swing arm from moving. There is a little hole for a lock and a key. You can actually put it on both sides. So first I'm going to remove the lock, which is a really great safety feature um, in case you have kids. And also, oh, let me tell you this, do not move this picker without these in place, without these this block and it being locked in place because this thing will swing and it will catch you. So as long as you know the safety features of it, you will be fine. Okay, to take this off, I would suggest that you hold these little metal pieces here and lift it up because if you grab under here, you're going to get stuck by the pins. Be very careful. Use these metal pieces to take off this block. Okay, now the pins are exposed, so you have to be ultra careful when you're working with this. If you want to put on leather gloves, um, feel free to do that in case, you know, you just feel uncomfortable. But since I've been using it for a while, of course, I got bit a couple times by these pins and it only took me once or twice to figure it out that I had to be careful. So now it swings this way, but it won't swing back. I'll, br I'll bring you around the back so you can see it because there is another block in place. And here is the other end. So this is where you would feed your fiber in. I usually feed on the pins, but I'll show you that in a second. So this is the other block that's keeping it from swinging this way. So to remove this one, you want to hold this back and you want to grasp it on the top. Don't put your hands underneath or this way because again, you're going to get bit by those pins. So I just lift that up and I set it off to the side. So now, now we're in business. Now this is swinging. I'm ready to put it back together because this is still going to swing and we want to make sure every time we're done with this to put the blocks on, put the lock on, especially if you have children, at the very least put these blocks on. Um, get used to doing this because it will, you know, you may walk up and bump it and then have an issue. Okay, so you're going to take this block, you're going to hold it by the top, you're going to pull this back and set this over those little things here. Okay, now it's locked. There are wing nuts you can put on here if you want to. It comes with those wing nuts. But since it's just me and I don't have any children around, well, and I take that back. Sometimes I uh, bring my grand twins here to the shop. Um, and they know not to touch it, but it's always locked up. It's always put away. I really, because they love these things. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the back piece. And I'm going to hold it can you see that I'm holding it by the metal part I'm going to pull this back and then drop it on top of those pieces it's you always need to hold up here because those pins are on the bottom and they will bite you and they hurt a lot okay here's the lock and I'm going to put the lock in place and if you want to put the key somewhere else you can, but now it's now it's set. But just to let you know, there are some open areas here, so if someone stuck their fingers in there, they would get pinched. Um, okay, if you have any questions about this picker, I am a brother dealer. If you buy a picker from me, you will get a free scouring certification class, or I can offer you two other courses in place of that one if you don't want the scouring one. 
but please go over to um, Kamaj School of Fiber Arts and check out my classes. If you are new to drum carding or you have issues with carding, it goes deep into the fundamentals and shows you reasons that you may not have ever thought of before.